This video deals with volatile binders and their use as fixatives for water-sensitive colour mediums. The required materials are presented and the application explained. A wide variety of writing and colour mediums can be located on objects. These are not always waterproof. Prior to an aqueous treatment, these colour mediums must therefore be fixed so that they do not bleed out. Volatile binders that are applied to the sensitive areas are suitable for this purpose. Volatile binders are water repellent. During an aqueous treatment, the colour mediums do not come into contact with water as a result and therefore cannot bleed out. After the treatment, the volatile binders sublimate without residue. This means that they pass from a solid state directly into a gaseous state and are not removed from the object by further interventions. When handling volatile binders and its associated solvents, it is important to wear personal protective equipment in the form of gowns, gloves and glasses. Whether cyclododecane or menthol is used depends on the object, the planned action and personal preference. The substances differ in their properties, such as melting point and the way in which they are used. Cyclododecane can be applied as a solution. Solutions have the advantage that they can be processed while cold. The prerequisite for use is that the colour mediums in the solvent are stable. To set up a solution you need Cyclododecane Petroleum spirit 100 to 140 or petroleum ether 30 to 40 Screw glasses Petri dishes, a spatula, as well as scales and a magnetic stirrer. First the cyclododecane and the solvent are weighed. Petroleum ether 30 to 40 evaporates quickly and is used when the solution should not penetrate deeply. 10 grams of cyclododecane are dissolved in 6.5 grams of petroleum ether. Petroleum spirit 100 to 140 is suitable if stronger penetration is desired. 10 grams of cyclododecane are dissolved in 8 grams of petroleum spirit. The cyclododecane is added to the solvent while stirring. While stirring, the glass should be closed so that the solvent does not evaporate and the concentration does not change. The solution should be saturated this can be observed by the fact that there are undissolved crystals at the bottom of the glass. The solution is applied to the sensitive areas with a brush. The application should be slightly larger than the color medium and should be done on both sides so that no water can penetrate from behind. This is repeated several times until a closed layer forms. Once the solvent has evaporated, the object can be treated with water. To apply a melt, you need cyclododecane or menthol, beakers, a brush, and a heating plate. The volatile binder is melted in a beaker in a water bath. The melt is picked up with a brush and then quickly applied to the color medium. The application is slightly larger than the color medium itself and takes place on the front and the back. For menthol, it is important to have at least two layers of melt. After fixation, the aqueous treatment can be continued. Meanwhile, the object should be observed to see if the fixation is stable.
After aqueous treatment, the object is first placed in a drying rack. If it is merely damp, it is placed between fleeces in a dry pile of terry towels. These have the advantage of adapting to the unevenness of the volatile binder, preventing the formation of creases. As a result, the stack is weighted with a board and weights. If the object is dry, it is placed under the fume hood so that the volatile binder can evaporate. To avoid the object lifting due to the draft, it can be secured at the edge using small weights. Water-sensitive color mediums can be fixed using the volatile binders cyclodotacane and menthol. They can be applied as a solution or as a melt. After conservation, they evaporate from the object on their own without leaving any residue.